Picasso here. Thanks for joining in. And today, guys, I have here my Note 5. And on this Note 5, I have a full ported ROM, the Galaxy S8, on my Note 5. And here you can see we have Infinity, our Infinity wallpapers. Okay, working very nice, very beautifully. Fingerprint scanner also working. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let's dive into it. Now, you guys should know I can't get something new to play with and I don't share it with you guys. Now, I'm currently not at home. I'm actually up north with my family right now. Uh, just kind of chilling for the weekend. It's Saturday right now today. And uh, yeah, so the S8 ROM ported, or the S8 ported to the Note 5. So, um, obviously I can't, well, I mean, there you go, S Pen. We, we all know that uh, the S8 does not come with an S Pen. And this is the Note 5 and the Note 5 S Pen, of course. And you still do have S Pen features on this, uh, within this ROM, Note 5 S Pen, okay? Definitely not the S8. Um, you could tell by just looking at it. But we do have the S8 ROM here. Okay, so everything, the phone, obviously, you know, when you do stuff like that, it thinks that it is the ROM. Um, it is the actual phone. So there, as you see there, it says device name, Galaxy S8 Plus. And there's the model number SMG955F. So very, very cool. Um, and pretty simple also. You do have to be rooted. You have to have twerp or custom recovery installed. And then you go ahead and you flash the files. I will have a link down below in the description to uh, uh, um, galaxynote5root.com. Shout out to Max Lee, aka Zito Max, aka Mr. High on Android. Okay, that's where I was watching this video, and yeah, that's the whole reason I went and got a Note 5. I've wanted a Note 5 for a while, and I just said, you know what, let me go pick up a used one. You can see the little scuffs at the bottom there, but yeah, I was kind of holding out for the G6 or the S8, and when I saw his video and he said that you could get the S8 Plus working on a Note 5, and I do love the Note 5. I'm a big Note fan. Um, I love to use the S Pen and stuff like that. I had to go out and get it, so I just went out, got a used Note 5. Um, off topic, I also got a Gear VR, and yeah, I'm a little bit, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm a little bit excited or scared to try out some of those things, especially the horror games and stuff like that, but uh, that's for another video. Uh, like the video if you want to see me scream, like the video if you want to see me scream like a little girl playing some stupid little games, but uh, yeah, back to the ROM. Okay, so the name of the ROM is Kong, uh, let's see, I do not actually remember the name of the ROM, I should have it in here. It should be in here. Um, I'm not sure it's, if it's in here. There we go. So the name of the ROM, as you can see, is Kongloy Nougat V5. Okay, that's what it is. So you have to flash the ROM. You have to flash um, uh, the kernel as well, because that's what gets uh, always on display working. The kernel wasn't working for me the first time. I flashed it and nothing happened. Um, and AOD wasn't working for me. And as you see, you do have uh, uh, infinity display on the always on display on out the on the always on display as well. Look at that! Look at that! Look at look at that! It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love this. It's very awesome. And of course, like I said, fingerprint scanner is working perfectly. Camera is working. It is the S8 camera. It's working very nicely. It does have some awesome, awesome, awesome things. Like you can hold the camera shutter and switch up to zoom where is it is it this what am I doing am I doing something wrong here am I mistaking it for something else what am I mistaking this for um, okay you flip up and flip down to rotate there's something you do to zoom I'm trying to remember what you do to zoom um, I'm just snapping photos aren't I I think I'm just snapping photos. There was something else that you could do. These are all the modes and stuff like that. Um, pretty cool, but it is the S8 camera. We, of course, we have uh, internet beta, something swipe up and down for apps. And as you see here, you swipe up for the app pages. It's not up and down, which I often do. That just closes the app drawer. Okay, it's left and right. It's left and right. 
up and down closes the app drawer. Of course, this is the TouchWiz that's on the S8. We got the new icons. And of course, we also get Bixby. We also have Bixby. Hello, Bixby. Yes, we have Bixby. Why do we have Bixby? <laughs> because it's on the S8. So we have Bixby. So you might want to turn off Bixby, which is what I'm going to do. You just got to hold down, scroll over to Bixby, and I'm going to turn it off. And Bixby is no more. Okay, so what do we have? What do we have? We do have uh, edge panels, okay, like on the S8. So we have uh, Apps Edge, we have uh, People Edge, and we have the Smart Select, where you can select a GIF from, an, from a video, pin to top, uh, rectangle, oval, stuff like that. Pin to top is nice. I like it because basically if you're writing a message to somebody and um, or you're looking at some type of information but you want to look it up, you can basically go ahead, use pin to top, you're going to select what you want, you're going to hit pin to, or pin to top will do it. Once you tap pin to top, you'll crop whatever you want to crop. It will stay at the top and you can go through your applications and uh, you can go through notes if you're sending somebody a note or a number or something like that and the information will be pinned to the top, hence pinned to top. Okay, uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? We have the edges, of course, the, you know, the notification shade settings. You saw that already. We have the new settings and stuff like that. Um, very awesome. The display, of course, you can switch between the switch resolution between 1280 by 720, uh, 1920 by 1080, which is what I keep it on. It preserves a little bit of battery. But if you're going to use something like the Gear VR, you do have to bump it up to that 2560 by 1440. Okay, just keep that in mind if you're planning on doing something like that. Uh, home screen, you can change icons. It's pretty much the same as any as any uh, a Samsung device, except it's just a you know new look, and there are some added features, of course. So this is where the always-on display is. You can see the one I've chosen. You can choose some different ones, and you can also download from uh, the Samsung App Store. It's pretty cool. So far, battery life is it's roughly the same as the regular Note 5, guys. We all know that the Note 5, it's not the best, or we should know. If you didn't know, the, the Samsung Galaxy Note devices do not have the best batteries. I have tons of battery packs with me, so it's never really a problem. Um, yeah, and of course, it's not a removable battery like the Note 3, the Note 4, you know, the Note 2, the Note, you know what I mean? Where you could just swap out a battery and you're boom, 0 to 100 real quick, you know what I'm saying? But uh, regardless, that's, that's just how it is. So we do have the S8 dialer, we have the S8 messaging, like we have, it's, it's pretty much the same thing as you see there. Swiping up for the apps, swiping down for the apps and it's left to right to get in there okay so we have the camera we have the s pen features let's go ahead and oh, i did pull it out already didn't i but let's do it again anyway so we have it there and of course you can add so we have smart select screen write, translate magnify and create note of course you could add your own shortcuts and stuff like that pretty simple pretty easy you do also have a screen off memo Okay, that's on the regular Note 5, and it is over to this because it is uh, the Note 5 and uh, the S8 ROM. So go ahead and take it out, and you have you do have screen off memo. Very awesome. The ROM is pretty cool. If you know anything about the S8, I mean, I'm sure there's lots of things that I could be talking about. I'm sure of it. I just don't know. I don't know anything particularly about the S8 or the S8 Plus, so I'm not sure what to go into. Let's just run through the settings, I guess, would be, which would be the best bet. Um, so connections, pretty much the same thing. Um, you have all of the usual Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile networks, hotspot, NFC payments, etc. Sound and vibration. Again, pretty much the same thing as always. We want to find something that's a little bit different. Okay, so one thing that's different is that uh, this is obviously notification, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. For the notification shade, so what it said, you know, usually at the top there in the note in the status bar, you can see there. Usually, what happens is that you would see that whole long list of applications. So within this, you're able to set it to just the last three will be shown. Everything will be there, but just the last three will actually be shown. And I believe that's in yes, in display settings, display and status bar. 
show recent notifications only show only the three most recent notification icons in the status bar and you have the toggle to show battery percentage and show the network speed so that's pretty cool you can always uh, that's something to keep in mind as well notification of course you block and allow apps to receive notifications wallpapers and themes it's pretty cool because it just brings you to the Samsung theme store and you're able to get different themes built from your wallpapers that build from your photos built from your emblem emblems and uh, yeah so you have AOD you have always on displays that you can choose from and download for different themes etc etc and it's it's awesome it's awesome it's awesome don't have that cash to spit out for a Galaxy S8 S8 plus you have a Note 5? Here you go. Kong Lo or Kong Lu. I, you know, I don't mean to massacre the name. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Probably shouldn't have tried. I apologize. But there is a way. Again, links will be down below to the information, the list, how to root your Note 5, and every single thing that I did personally. And it worked for me. Okay. And yes, it, uh, the instructions will be there as well. So what else do we have? Uh, it says advanced features. So, of course, here are the S Pen features. It is in a Note 5, so it does carry over the Note 5 features. Uh, the S Pen features, I should say. You have floating messages. Floating messages is nice. It's very, it's, it's not intrusive at all. Anything you're doing is just a little circular pop-up that comes up, and you can set it to actually have it just pop up as the message in a little bubble, or just that little, uh, uh, that little, a little bubble that just, you know, just comes on. So uh, it's it's pretty cool. It's 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 nice. I really like it. You have one-handed mode. I'm not using it. Finger sensor gestures. That does not work on the Note 5. Again, we don't have the S8 or S8 Plus hardware, so not everything is going to work 100%. Quick launch camera. Uh, pressing the power button twice. That does work. We have app lock. We have uh, multi window. Of course, smart capture. Palm to swipe capture. I don't use those things. Um, and uh, yeah, so apps, lock screen, and security. Like I said, the fingerprint does work. The finger sc fingerprint scanner, it's not locked or anything like that. And um, yeah, pretty much it. Let's take another look. What do we have here? General manager, language, software updates, and stuff like that. Of course, it's a ROM. I just always check the uh, source page where I got all these things from, which would be root galaxy note dot five or galaxy note root dot galaxynote5root.com for updates and they'll hopefully they'll you know keep us updated on the current versions of the kernel being updated or versions of the actual rom being updated and guys that's just going to be it just a quick look i mean again i'm not going to go and spend that much money on a galaxy s8 i don't have it so i'm not going to right and uh yeah i'm not jumping on a contract either i'm with freedom and i got a decent plan i'm not stuck in any contract or anything like that so yeah this is awesome yeah i'm sure i don't know if there's a lot of stuff that like i, I missed you know letting you guys know but uh, if there is f honestly feel free to let me know and i'll do an update video because um i'm gonna let you guys know how the battery life is you know i'll be putting up on social media as well check me out on facebook google plus twitter instagram snapchat i don't really use snapchat but i might i don't know i don't know i don't know if snapchat is a, a thing for me to use but uh, anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Galaxy S8 Plus ROM running on my Galaxy Note 5. Okay, S Pen to prove it. And guys, as always, I'm your humble Picasso. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.